Stop asking why we are so close. It's because I love you. You need to be close to me. The closer I get to you. Okay, y'all. It is 5.45 in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get your ass up, girl. And let's get into this routine. Now. <laughs> Girl, what is going on? Hello? Hey, y'all. So, listen, I'm trying a... So, listen, it's the beginning of the year, right? We cooked it. And this is the goal. I really want to develop a routine. I don't have a routine down. And I feel like if I can get a routine down, then things are going to be a lot better for me. So... What I wanted to do is I want to spend the first part of my day doing self-care. I feel like the first thing that gets thrown out the window is me caring for myself. And I'm I'm of the mind that the more I care for myself, the more I feel better, the more I look better, the more I fall in love with the way I look, the more I fall in love with me in general, the more I can fall in love with my wellness and my health care and I can stay on track. Like, I want a routine. And I talked on the um, on the car chat a little bit about raising the standard. I really want to raise the standard in my life. I feel like once I raise the standard in my life for myself, it'll be able to be like an all-encompassing type thing. Like, will every area of my life, the standard will be raised, right? So, right now, we woke up, we got up, we got a few things handled. It was kind of like out of order of the way that I wanted to do it, but it still got done, right? Um... So we got an appointment. We got Miss um, Casey has an, a booked an appointment with me today um, to do like a discovery call. So in our first, well, this is not the first time that she's working with me. She's actually worked with me before and she came back and I wanted to know like, you know, she told me that she had some success and, you know, I told her like, well, hey, let's do an, an assessment. Let's see how well you did, where you are, what you need now, how you want to move forward. So we're going to have an assessment basically today at about 11, 11.30. So right now it's about 10.08. The last time I looked, probably about 10.10. And I really feel like today is going to be a busy day. And if I don't take the time now to do something for myself, it's not going to happen. So I feel really insecure sitting up here looking like this. I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like... I feel the way, like, so help me, you guys, like, bear with me while I feel this way, but I just feel like, I want to say, like, everything is not always beautiful, pretty, well put together, like, this is our life, right, and I feel like I just want to get into the habit of, you know, being on camera, like, Back in the day when I first started YouTube, I used to just get up and get started and get going. If it, I would wash my face, I would make sure I was clean. But other than that, I did not, was not so deeply involved in, oh, it's a crust on my eye. It's a line on my eye. You know, I don't have this on or my arms are showing or like this is on. You know what I'm saying? And lately, I've noticed that I've allowed these little uh, things that are like not even really uh, important to like interrupt my flow. So I want to get back in my flow, you know what I'm saying? And then get back to where I can get back in my flow and start perfecting my flow. But this is me, girl. This is me, like, 100% me. Like, laugh at it. But this is me with some conditioner on my hair. My hair, y'all, is filling in so healthy. Like, oh, I love my hair. I've been using, now I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really love these Myel products, but I purchased the whole kit. Like I got the oil, I got this hair mask, I got the shampoo, conditioner, and all of that. So what I wanted to do is, I'm going to use them until they till they gone. So like, this is where we at with this, at this point. I don't really like them, I feel like I can do better. My girl, She Darrell uh, Soul, I think is her name. Um, that she has the most beautiful natural hair. I feel like, um, and I usually get all of my ideas for like uh, hair care products from her. So I'm gonna ask her what's the best system for me to use to help with my hair because she has really been on point with helping me to grow. But yeah, man, I love my hair. It's filling in. My edges are filling in. Y'all remember how over here was like not full compared to 
over here, over here was like way more full. Now it's still, as you can see, my curls is way juicier over here. You see how juicy they is over here? God! <laughs> Girl, what did I'm sorry I got inside that little that little curl pop back? <laughs> I'm sorry. But I love my hair. I love my hair. This is me at my most vulnerable point. Like, no makeup, no lashes. Let me see you. No makeup, no lashes. Like, this is at a vulnerable point for me, but I'm really happy with my hair. But anyway, you see how this part has always been a little bit more full, right? But then this part over here, she's not, she was worse. Like, it was like, you know, flat like this. But now, she's getting to be popping too. You see what I mean? Hello. But anyway, I don't like this Maya stuff, but I am using this as like a hair mask and like a deep condition. So I'm gonna go and wash, you know, let this sit for a minute. Cause I had not, I didn't finish this part up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit. And then I'll see y'all, I'm gonna do some self care and some skincare. So take this as a reminder y'all that it doesn't matter how you look. I feel like sometimes people try to say, well, if you don't look good and you need to be spending some of that time going to the gym and them, and will and is you need to be spending some of that time losing weight and will that's on it that's on the agenda too but what i won't be spending time with is doing <laughs> going backwards and forward with you right that's wasting my energy so anyway but i just feel like sometimes you know they make us feel like okay you know you spending time on doing your hair you spending time on doing makeup and picking out clothes but your fat ass need to be in the gym yep i am that's getting done too but in the meantime, <laughs> we about to condition this. Girl, do you see? Do you see it? Girl, about to holler. Now, that, okay, now this little piece need to be cut. I know. I get it. We gonna get a haircut. I understand that. That little piece need to be cut, but that's not the point. The point is, oh, do you see it? It's coming together. Over here, it's filling in. Y'all remember? It was struggling over here. It's filling in. Now, hopefully... It catch up with this other side. But anyway, okay, girl, let me go. I'm going to you know, get in my shower and get my skincare. So this is your reminder, okay, to do something for yourself. Wash your hair. Do a deep condition. All of that is self-care. It's day two in a year, girl. You better not be neglecting yourself already because them kids is not going to get taken care of. That man is not going to get taken care of. Your mama is not going to get taken care of. Your niece is not going to get taken care of if you don't prioritize your care. I'm not going to be telling you that all well. I probably am. But don't make, don't make me regret it. Get your shit together. Take care of yourself in the way you know how to. Sometimes just waking up, getting out of bed is all you can do for today. And that's okay. Just as long as you do something. So anyway, let me go take a shower and... Um, Get these coils together. <laughs> girl, you do not see, girl. You do not see these curls. Girl. I mean, so, okay, the ends is a little ragged. Some of them, but for the most part. Anyway, I'll be back. Broken.
Girl, not me with a terry cloth robe on, girl. Girl, not that I don't got me a terry cloth robe. That covers everything. I got to I'm guess where you where I got this robe from. You will never believe where I got this robe from. That actually fits my whole body and ties around. And listen, it's not sponsored. Okay. Put it down below in the comments if you know where I got my robe from. Okay, y'all, listen. It's 11 o'clock. Let me go ahead and get ready. I'm going to put me a little lash. Well, I'm going to do me some skincare. Put me a little lash and get ready for our meeting that we have with Mama KC today at 11.30. It's about 11.08. So, we're doing pretty good. Girl, that shower was so good. Girl, not my face a little ashy. Ooh, it's a little touched. It's a little touched. But anyway, I'll be back, girl. Oh, oh. Just for a while Cause baby I know it You know it We know it Deep inside We do addicted to friction To change our minds We so in love But babe It's not enough to survive Cause it's your way love Love, love That makes us do All the stupid shit that we do All of the stupid shit that we do All the place is disorganized. It's dark in here. Hold on. Is that better? Okay, y'all. So we I need y'all. Hey girl. Hey. I need you to roll with me real quick. I need to go to um five below. Okay. Now this is what had happened. What had happened was I won a Stanley Cup and I wanted the pink. 
and red Stanley Cup from Target. But I also wanted my sanity, my peace, and my sleep. Thus, I did not get up at the required time to make it there in order to get these Stanley Cups. So, what we're going to do is try to see if we can find Steve, maybe Stefan, something like that, at Five Below. Because I heard through the grapevine that at the Five Below, okay, they got Steve and Stefan Cup, okay? So, I want y'all to go along with me. Now, listen, we're going to do music. We're going to have a vibe. I'm going to need y'all to be watching this vlog from beginning all the way down to the end. Okay, so we'll go ahead and also unbox some things whenever I get back from the five below. And then maybe we can just have a, like, chit-chat because I need to talk. This was supposed to be, like, a get-back-into-routine type vlog. But it ended up being kind of like, let's run errands, let's get things done at the house. But I really need to talk. I haven't been able to do a car chat. And I just really need to spill what's on, like, what's on my heart. I need to talk. And we also need to unbox and open a whole bunch of stuff together. And then also, I need to figure out, like, okay... I want to get back into doing my fashion content, right? And I just want to figure out how to do that. And I just need to vent and talk about that. But first, let's carry our ass down here to the um five below and see if we can find Steve. And then I'll be in the same spot when we get back from that. And let's see if they're there, okay? Let's go. First, let me put some perfume on to my perfume section. Um, okay, y'all, so listen. Dossier and I have been ride or die for a minute, okay? I want to start getting into, this is like an afterthought. I want to start really getting into more Dossier content and really doing them like, this is Amber Cherry, girl. I really want to be doing them, like doing something a little bit different. Last time I did the diffuser, Y'all know they have perfumes. Now they have candles. So I, the next thing that I want to do for them is a dossier candle. Come on now. Come on down this light. My light flickering. The next thing I want to do for them is a, a dossier candle. But anyway, y'all know dossier. Listen, we almost out of this. When it comes to dossier perfumes, Ambery Cherry is the gold. Now listen, I love to get it from Walmart. Um, I'm going to put down below like a discount code where you guys can get your dossier, whether you get it from Walmart, well, if you get it from the website, then you can use the discount code. If you get it from Walmart, you got to go with their prices, but what? Good. Not that I just sprayed myself in the mouth. Okay. I'm gone. Let's go to Pablo. When we get back from Pablo, we'll talk. you get it by now tell me what you learned in grade school give it to me like you want it did you forget that code what is i love it one side it should really be give and take fill you up and leave me empty baby was that to my mistake covering his feelings going through changes i'm just so mad right now Just tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't
through changes I'm just so mad but now it's at my own expense so I'm a child tweeted and deleted knowing you were read dead before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it before we cross the line and we reach a point So let's talk about Five Below. Shout out to Five Below for having a lot of books. I love books, so I'm down for that. Now, why can't I never make the garbage? Jeez. Hey. Don't you say nothing crazy to me. So listen, you know, uh, y'all favorite guy in all his jokes. So, bro, listen. We went to Five Below and they had a whole lot of books. I actually posted everything on the stories. Y'all, if y'all not following me, can y'all please do your sister a favor and head over to um, Instagram. If you're going to be the type of person that engages with my content, if you're engaging and you know what I'm saying, you watch me, you support me, Head on over to Instagram. Um, we are looking for all of the real OG, O, 2020, 2021, 2022, Joy Amor, Amorians that love me and support me. I really need y'all because I talked about it. So, okay, let's get into it. First of all, before we get into that, let me get into this little um, five below situation. So, girl, I would like to introduce you to my man, my man, my man, my man. And I said if I ever started, like, you know, met another man, I wouldn't put them on the internet. Just, like, I wouldn't want them to have to, like, I wouldn't want them to have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, go through what my, you know, what my other men have gone through online. But I do want to try to meet Stephon Steve. This is Stanley's cousin. So listen, y'all. Five dollars. Now listen, I don't own a Stanley Cup. So I don't have anything to compare it to. So y'all let me know down below if for those of y'all who got the Stanley Cups, what you think. This says it keeps your drinks hot or cold longer. And it's a 40 ounce, eleven hundred millimeter or milliliter, whatever. Cup, it comes with a straw. I mean, it's not a pink color, it's more of like a lavender like a purple my mom's favorite color was purple so i'm down for that um i'm more of a pink girl myself pink or black or gold anyway so i'm down i'm down with this i'm gonna try it and see if it keeps my stuff cold because right now i use like my water i just drink water out of this cup and then i usually just use my my water enhancer this is the only one that doesn't give me a headache like a lot of this like zero sugar stuff sugar free stuff um like these uh flavor water enhancers sometimes they can give me a headache and make me kind of nauseous like literally i don't know what it is about some of that stuff that it makes me so sick but this one as you can see this is the one i drink all the time it doesn't make me feel weird it doesn't make me sick um so there's that. But yeah, girl, I went ahead and I did get my five my five dollar Stanley Cup. And for now, like I'm okay. Like I'm you know, I'm feeling her. But what I am gonna do is 
I need something to compare it to. Now, I've been telling y'all I've been doing yoga. I'm going to have to show y'all some of my yoga moves. Here is my yoga mat. $5, I think. Was it $5? I think it was $5. So, I got me a yoga mat, okay? And then I also got this book that shows you all the yoga poses in it. So, that way, you know, your girl can learn, hey, when you bend over and bust it open, you're doing yoga. Girl, when I say I love yoga, so let me tell y'all why, like, why I like yoga. So, I realized that I can either run for 30 minutes or jog for 30 minutes, walk for an hour, or do 8 to 10 minutes of yoga and burn the same amount of calories. Which one are you doing? Let's do yoga for 8 minutes. It's basically the same as if you did 30 minutes on a um, treadmill. So, there's that. Now, here's the rest of the stuff that we got. So, Chris got this book, Thoughtful Wisdom for Every Day. Chris, what's today? Let me, you want me to read these Thoughtful Wisdoms? January. Here, hold on. Um... Today's what? This okay. Today is Eminem's birthday. Happy birthday, y'all! Help me say happy birthday to uh Miranda. We often believe that our life moves forward only when we meet others. This is not true. Our real lives unfold when we are alone, when we are one on one with our thoughts. A thought is a great force. This force finds its way out of a person through words, making one's deeds a blessing or a curse, depending on whether it was a good or bad thought. It is only after an artillery shell has left the cannon that we hear the shot from a distance. In the same way, we can see the evil created by evil thoughts only after they have been expressed and caused evil things to happen. All human action depends on our thoughts. When it is in the soil, a seed is invisible, yet a huge tree eventually grows from it over time. In the same way, human thoughts can go unnoticed, yet the greatest events in human history often grow from such thoughts so basically this has like you know every day it has like a little you know a piece of wisdom bae bae chris come get this This um book for this you wanted. Oh yeah. That's your thoughtful book. And then okay. Then I got this um rose quartz uh, gasha. Like this is like to shape help shape your face. Now listen, I'm tell y'all, in my personal opinion, even though since the beginning of the year I've been changing my eating habits, I'm back down back to my original um eating ha habits. Y'all, I'm really like I've reached like a very frustrating place. With my weight, I'm just gonna be honest. I so listen. I have really been trying to only say positive things and not say negative things. So that's why y'all haven't really been seeing me because I'm really trying to manifest the life that I've always dreamed of, and it's really difficult to do that when you constantly something bit me in my back. It's really difficult to do that when you're constantly, constantly speaking negative against your situation. But there's this, like, balance of being able to get things off your chest and just talk about how you feel, telling the truth about things, and then being a little delulu because you're trying to manifest something. So, it's like a, it's a, it's a difficult balance. Ooh, my elbows ain't here. Come on, elbows. My elbows. You don't want none if you got ashy elbows. But, um, there's a difference, I think, between, okay, are we manifesting something so we got to kind of watch what we say? Or can we have an outlet where we can speak how we feel? Like, there's a there's a balance there, right? Because it's like, the tongue sets on the course of nature. What you say will be what it is. Like, so shall, if you say it, so shall it be. So, you just have to be careful. So, I'm learning that and I'm really working towards not speaking about certain things but when i say it's difficult it's difficult especially now that 
I got a couple of things that's going on in my life and I feel like in order for me to get through it, I need to be able to talk about it. But I got to discipline myself. Well, not that I spilled my juice on myself. I got to discipline myself and not, and not do that. And just speak what I want it to be. So, as I speak it, so shall it be. Everything is working out for my good. Everything is positive. Um, my body will line up and get to where I want it to be. I want to, I want to feel good on my outside. And I want to look in the mirror and be happy with myself. Like, it's not that you're going to be absent of confidence or even absence of critique. I just want to be okay either way. And I know for me, if I'm looking in the mirror and I'm happy with myself and I'm happy with what I see, it's easier for me to feel good. Ever since I've been, ever since my body has been healing itself through PCOS and the PCOS symptoms started coming to the surface, I've been having a really hard time with my body, the way I feel in my body, the way that I'm accepting my body. And the craziest thing is that I'm getting smaller than what I've been previously, but I guess just at some point my mental health took a hit dealing with having a period for two months like i don't know that just was just that was a lot for me but i feel like i'm getting back to myself i feel like i just have to keep going and that's kind of like what i want to show here um i just want to say shit's about to get real when i say shit's about to get real i can't put on a face like i can't keep trying to only come before you when i have things figured out or i'm i'm insecure about this hair i guess that's why i keep playing with i can't only come to you when i have things figured out or when i look a certain way like i just gotta just keep it moving like it is what it is i'm here this is what i got going on um no matter what i'm going through this is what i got going on so anyway we're going to keep it happy. We're going to keep it upbeat. I do have a positive. I've started working on some things that I want to do when it comes to clothes. Um, I'm thinking about some things that I want to do. So, even if it's not like a traditional try-on haul where it's like, let me buy a thousand dollars worth of clothes and try them on and then never get to sell them, never get to send them back. My goodness, this cup is broken. I just keep wetting up everything. Hold on, y'all. Okay, B Bees was calling. So I had to um catch his call. But anyway. Did I show y'all everything? So, I got this rose quartz gasha. And, oh, I want to show y'all these socks. I got these um non-slip yoga fitness socks. So, that way, when I be doing my yoga, I can show y'all. Listen, if y'all never... So, listen, go on the Apple... I'm, I'm Listen, this is not sponsored. Go on the Apple's fitness app and look up Janelle. She's the one who be doing the yoga, like little 10-minute yogas. Girl, them 10-minute yogas be burning me like 150, 200 calories for, for 10 minutes. They be hard. You got to sit down in your chair pose. It's like, oh! And you got to do your exalted warrior. And then your cactus. Oh, do your cactus, miss. I don't know what I was talking about before I talked to my brother, but... Anyway, y'all, I'm getting my energy back. I feel like for the last, for 2023, suck ass. Like, I went through more things in 2023 than I've been through in my adult life, especially with relationships and being hurt and in my feelings. But now I am so happy to be past all of that. And um, I'm looking forward to the future. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I'm really excited about the future. And I can't wait for, like, all of the positive things that are going to be happening for us in our future. And I just know that things are going to get better. I know that it's been a little bit rough. I know things have been a little bit frustrating. Um, and I know that you probably been, if I've been going through it last year, I know that you just, it's like, I'm hanging on, girl. I'm hanging on hope. 
and I just hope that when you watch my channel, like, even though I know a lot of you guys join for me and Chris uh, content, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, um, Chris, 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 can you stop sh shutting the door so I can talk to you? Would you like anything to eat? Yeah. What would you like from Chick Fil A? Um, where where are we at? Chick Fil A. Oh, Chick Fil A. Give me a, a spicy chicken sandwich. Just a spicy. That's it. Deluxe with the fries. Okay. Can I use your phone? Mhm. Mm my brother's getting Chick Fil A, and he's on his way to my house. I got chicken nuggets. Sorry, y'all. I know that you guys are used to seeing a certain type of content. And what I'm hoping, and what I'm hoping to get away from, and I kind of have to accept the fact that if you guys leave, I want you to leave because I want you to be happy. And then that way, the real people that can come, um, that are going to just be with me and, like, have my back, that's what I'm looking for. So... Hold on a second. Hey, it's Joy. Um, can you get a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe uh, with a fry? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Here you go. So, um, I'm all over the place, y'all, but basically... I know that a lot of people are used to seeing me do my thing when it comes to being with Chris, you yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> and doing fashion content, and I get that, because if I'm, like, following you, and I'm following you for a certain type of content, and then I see that you ain't doing that certain kind of content, typically, I'm going to either do one or two things, unfollow or go with the flow, now. Honestly, I only follow people that I fuck with the long way. If I fuck with you the long way, like, I don't care if you read out the dictionary. Like, girl, I'm going to be in the comments like, girl, what is going on? Is you going through something? Like, what happened? Like, what's the tea? But I'm not going to just be like, oh, you're not doing what I want? I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like the more that the community gets filtered and the more that we are coming together and the more that I'm seeing, like, Y'all, there are so many amazing people in this community. I'm so grateful. Like, I am living my dream. There has been times, and this is something like, that's why I can't even complain. It's like, on one hand, there are people that's watching me. I can't control who watches me, right? But the thing that I do love is that the people who do watch me, that I know are consistent. Like, you guys, I don't know, man. Y'all make me cry. What's that? You got more snacks? No, it's got the bumpins. Oh. We, oh, okay. You're going to eat the rest of those? Yeah. Well, did you want one? Mm -mm. I'm full of that. I think they made me a little nauseous. Really? Everything makes me nauseous these days. Mm. I can't eat nothing. I was like, mm. can I just enjoy being fat? No, I can't. I got to be nauseous every minute. So I can't eat that. But I am going to eat these chicken nuggets from, um, mm. I think I told him to get a six count. Hope he doesn't get a 12 count because that's too much. But anyway, y'all, this is all over the place and I'm not going to edit it. But um, the thing that I love about our community is that I feel like I met some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my entire life through YouTube. And I would, I'm forever grateful for that. But at the same time, we do pivot and we do change and we go through things. And I just feel like I want my community to build on people that I fuck with y'all the long way, y'all fuck with me the long way. We together, like, we, 
We locked in. Ain't no switching up. We locked in. So if I come on here one day and be like, girl, I want to do culinary masterpieces. I want to do ice sculptures. I just want a community that's like, okay, Joy, we don't understand, but we here. We watching. We going to come in. We going to talk about our displeasure, but we watching. That's what I want. So when I see that, like, y'all be having my back. Y'all be, in a, you know, tussling for me. I just want to say I, I'm grateful. I don't want you guys to think that. Oh, she only focuses on the negative. She's not focusing on those that are here. I am. I see you, girl. I see you. But, okay, so these are the things that I got from um, Five Below, girl. We spent $40. First of all, we not drink. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. No sex in um, January. No drinking in January. No spending money in January. It's just like, oh, my God, girl. January, everything. I'm starting a new diet in January. I'm... Doing yoga in jail. It's like no spin, no sex, no spirits. Spirits, aka alcohol. It's just like, girl, that's a lot. Anyway, oh, another good thing that happened is I met this girl. Y'all, if y'all are on Instagram, I need y'all to go. Listen, go to Instagram. I keep telling y'all, go to the Instagram screen. There's a girl, well, a woman, excuse me. Her name is Dudu does yoga i love her down first of all i think her first name is diane um i think it's diane brown i'm not sure don't quote me but it's doodle does yoga in florida you gonna have a, a a like a pet name doodle baby popsicle peanut we gonna always have some type of Pumpkin, like my nickname, y'all can't call me that. Y'all better not ever call me that. <laughs> my mama called me that. Y'all cannot call me Pumpkin. But Pumpkin Lumpkin, that's my nickname. Like we all have our little, our little names. But anyway, it's Doodoo Does Yoga on Instagram. And she's black. She's beautiful. Like she gives me very much so Nubian goddess like vibes. And she has this thing that I'm manifesting in my life. I don't know about you, but I done told her I'm going with me and my man. I don't know how we're going to get there. I don't know. This is what, I think this is kind of what sparked my whole, like, um, this is what sparked my whole yoga journey. I was like, I want to do exercise, okay? And I want to do something different. I have tried so many different things with exercise and I'm limited because of my torn meniscus and just my weight, my mirror mass and size that I'm at right now. I'm a little limited on activity and I hate to admit that, but sometimes I can be a little bit limited, but I want to work through that and I don't want to give up on activity. And I'm thinking like, okay, what is something that I can stick to even during my hardest times, even when... I'm cramping crazy or I'm bleeding for 56 days or what is something that can be something that's like deeper than just oh you don't want to be fat no more let's get off your ass and exercise now y'all know I love to dance so it was going to be dancing I love to hike right but then there's still kind of obstacles with that but girl when I seen this doodle um her name again doodle does yoga she has this thing where she does these couples yoga sessions girl she does these couple yoga sessions and they are the bomb.com i absolutely 100 percent love them like they i don't know if y'all seen them before let me know down below in the comments have y'all seen these couples sessions <clears throat> maybe not with doodle does yoga but just in general, where you're like, your man is on the floor, he's holding you, you're sitting in his like, it's like a very intimate thing. Um, intimacy, intimacy, wait, what did I say? Intimate, girl, that's a Danish. Anyway, intimacy is something like, I'm big on intimacy. Um, Y'all know I'm not touchy-feely. Sometimes I'm a little weirded out by being touched a lot, just because I think growing up, I was like, poked and prodded a lot because of my arms. Um, so I'm kind of weirded out by being touched. <clears throat> so to do, but I do like intimacy. And so to go like on another level with intimacy and be intimate with someone like to where you're holding each other and you're on the floor and 
you're laying on that person and you know squat down get your ego on type situation but it's still yoga because you're still in the different poses i was like bitch i don't want to do yoga so yeah anyway so hopefully that'll be well not hopefully that's gonna be on our manifestation list is going to a couple's intimacy yoga not no hot yoga i'm not there yet girl okay because listen all of my moves gonna be in the blood of jesus all of my moves is gonna be in, uh, hallelujah i don't care what you say it's very much gonna be given that um okay y'all so what's next i want to Oh, let me show you something else. I'll be back. Let me go get the um the other stuff I want to show you. I'll be back. I feel like this is the most unflattering, like janky setup. <clears throat> I can't go, wait to go to the next level with, like, our video. Because we got a new camera. I need to unbox that camera and show y'all that camera. Anyway. Okay, y'all. So, look. Fashion Nova. Y'all know I have not had a Fashion Nova order in a really long time. But, I want to show y'all some of the things from Fashion Nova. Now, this is going to go for, I got something really pretty that I want to put together for a Fashion Nova haul. No, not a Fashion Nova haul. A Valentine's Day look. That's right. Never mind. Not a Fashion Nova, not a Fashion Nova haul. But I got this because, girl, is that not adorable? Now, listen, tell me. Where the pocketbook at? Like, where? how do you put your stuff in the pocketbook? That's the question. Where is the stuff? Now, wait a minute. This is really atrocious. Like, what? Okay, here we go. I'm like, now, where do you... How do you... Okay, here we go. So, here... <laughs> Can you see? This is the thing right here. It's a very small, like, where you actually put your stuff at. I'm trying to find it, girl. You see it? It's so small, girl. But this hurts the skin. I don't think it's for, like, actually taking stuff. Because you probably could put your phone in there. And that's it. But this is everything. So, I got some gold shoes. Like, you know, a little gold slide. A simple gold slide. Oh, uh-uh, now the zipper don't work that good. Okay, so we got a gold slide. This is so adorable. I love this. Okay, here we go. So, I got a little gold slide to go with this. Um, and I have a beautiful black dress. So, it's going to be this black dress. And it's going to be giving very much so goddess energy. I can't wait to wear it, get my hair done, do the whole thing. It's going to be everything, like a whole bunch of stuff. Just it, It's just going to be everything. I can't wait. I'm like super excited about it. So yeah, there's this. I love it. It's so cute. Come on, Fashion Novas. Now I'm going to do this on um, Instagram also. Hold on. Okay. That is cute. I'm going to try to link it down below. Y'all, get ready to start looking for links because I'm going to start doing that. I have not been doing that lately, but I'm going to start doing that. Okay, so there's that. Now, all of the rest of the stuff from Fashion Nova is earrings. So, let's go through it. 
super quickly. It shouldn't take us but a moment. Ooh, moment ho. So you guys complimented some earrings that I had on the other day. And guess what happened? As soon as you complimented them, they broke. So I had to go to Fashion Nova and see if I could find them again. And guess what? After combing through, they were like $3. And they're nickel free because y'all know fake jewelry kind of breaks me out a little bit. So I can't wear it too long. But I think these are nickel free. Anyway, so look. So we have these. Is that not a door? And so you have those. All in the name of fashion. We're going to be undoing these in a moment. So. So you have those. Then these, I got them in the silver. And I got these in the gold. Oh, my God, bro. Listen, I'm getting, I'm segueing my way back into fashion. Y'all almost drove me away from fashion. Now, is these silver or is these the gold? Let me see. I think, y'all tell me. Are these silver or gold? Because I don't know why, but I can't tell. Are these gold? So I'm really getting into hoops like I'm really like walking into my hoop era girl I love me like a textured hoop or like just different kinds of hoops because I feel like sometimes we can have basics but we can elevate our basics so we can want elevated basics with jewelry okay so come on jewelry haul okay and then we have these these are giving me Versace vibes. These are silver, I believe. I love these. Bro, I got a little manicure. It's not, I've been, you know, trying to keep my little manicure. No nails, but this got a little bling bling on it. Oh, yes. Come on, bling bling. Every time I come around the city. Yeah, this cute. I don't know the pricing, y'all, but we're talking about I don't think either one of these pairs of earrings was more than five bucks. If that. Now, these are plain. Okay, these are, oh, no. So, those were gold, y'all. These are silver. There we go. Okay, so we got two more here. These are gold. Ooh. Oh, I know exactly what. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wear these with that bag. Oh, oh, oh. yes, ma'am. Period. Okay, yeah. Those are cute, y'all. I like these. I think that sometimes I get mad at a brand. Because y'all listen, I'm a 5X, okay? Like, there's no coming out of that. Like, I'm a 4X, 5X. Now, I was a borderline 4X. Like, a little bit on the smaller end of the 4X. More like the 26, 28. When I started um, doing social media in 2020. But, you know, with everything getting shut down. Whatever the reason is, I did gain weight. Some of the weight that I had lost back. And, I don't know, I started getting in my feelings about, oh my god, these are gorgeous. I started kind of getting in my feelings about 
being able to shop certain brands and Fashion Nova was one of the ones that I just was like, you know what, I'm just not even going to look at anything because I can't wear it. But that's not true. There are still some items that do stretch to a 4X that fit me that look nice. Um, I actually wore a dress from there the other day. That black and white dress that I wore to the um, concert with v Vito. That's a Fashion Nova dress. And had that dress been any larger, it would have fell off of me. Because that dress actually stretched so much that it would have stretched out of shape if it would have been larger. So, it's like some things, it's like, mm, it's like I'm, I'm obsessed, me personally, with seeing my size on a tag. I don't like a tag not being my size. That goes both ways, bigger and smaller. Anyway, here are these metallic gold. Um, I really like the matte. It's like a matte shine, like a matte buff on the earring. I really like it. That is a pretty earring. I love basics that are elevated. I'm also going to do a review of these on Instagram. I'm going to try to include the links if I can. If the, one, if the links are monetized, she will include them at the bottom. But okay, y'all. I'm done with this. What's next? You know what I did want to show y'all? Some stuff I got from Target. I got Y'all know them pajamas that I keep showing y'all? That y'all keep asking me about? I think I bought them in another color. And I was going to try them on. What y'all think? Let's see. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, can we please have um, Gabe start by himself? Since we was kids You taught me how to fringe kiss Now you so cold with your business But you still don't know what love is Love is more than feelings, it's choices Why we so indecisive All these years later, still the same Running, open cycle, but before it closes I want you to want me
Why you gonna say hey? You don't wanna say hey? What's wrong with that you? Hey y'all, so I'm with Big. He mad. He don't want to be on camera. He knocked the camera out of my hand, but we gonna get we gonna get some filming of Bigs later on. Um, and we're gonna make him say hey. You gonna make me say shit? Stop cussing! I'm gonna cuss every word on that cuss. Don't cuss! You can't cuss. We're gonna get demonetized. We I ain't getting no money. <laughs> Bring the A on now. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got to do my vlog. Okay, y'all. We are going to this furniture shop over here off by the hood. If you know, you know. The hood have good furniture, so I don't want to hear it. But anyway, we're going to the hood to find some furniture. We're looking for a washing machine and dryer, a bed, and possibly a couch. So let's go.